Welcome back at the uh, in the continental Bahrain uh, here in Manama City, and this is a uh, King one bedroom high floor suite 1020. And the uh, employee checking me in told me that this has been uh, fairly recently renovated, and I have to give a give, tell you that I was. I was this hotel last time in uh, 2015, but I have absolutely zero recollection what were the rooms or suites like back then. And for some reason, the Intercontinental um, markets this as Intercontinental Bahrain, but the sign at the top of the building is actually Intercontinental Regency Bahrain. So that's like the old, old branding. But anyway, here's the, by the way, guest, guest toilet, as you can see. Um, then you have a little bit of closet space when you come in. And then, of course, as we're in the Middle East, you do have a, this is but a little bit old style, they haven't touched this, um, a full mini bar with some snacks there. I don't like Pringles, so nothing for me there. But then I have to say that this mini bar lighting is, is kind of a little bit weird. It's like you're using one of those toilets that they, um, try and prevent people um, using needles in. But anyway, so here we have a TV, of course, a uh, very traditional style, uh, like sitting area. And here we have some, uh, must be ambassador amenities, must be dates or chocolate there in the box, but I do like the, I do like the fruits. Have to, Eat them a little bit later today. And here we have the bedroom, king bed, comfortable. Of course, we have another TV. And then we have a your work desk here as well. And here's my uh, my newest to me back. Um, more closet space. And remember, these control panels used to be very common in the past, but they are quite rare nowadays. So I'll have to have a look at that a little bit later. Bathrobe and some hangers here. So the uh, bathroom, toilet combo. So here you have a bathtub and they have the uh, fine red line of bathroom amenities, which is the Intercontinental Standard. It's actually quite nice stuff, I like it. Then we have a hair dryer scale. And let's see what amenities they have. They have a shaving kit, dental kit. Let me see, I'm sorry, this is a little, oh my goodness. Oh, that's empty. I need to ask. I need to ask them to bring me some uh, some mouthwash. Here we have a toilet, and well, they don't have usually bidets. Well, not often here in the Middle East, but you have the uh, the uh, well, I call it the ash shower. Basically, I'm sure there's a more uh, more better name for that as well. <laughs> And here we have the shower, shower, which is a little bit actually low seen because I can I can almost hit my head on that, especially if I had a uh, little bit longer hair and more of these pyreto amenities. Um, and this is a little bit like one of the older hotels here in Bahrain. And actually, I do like how the hotel looks from outside because it's a very like a traditional golf golf style look. And it's not one of those um, nondescript new buildings. But again, this is the Intercontinental Bahrain or Intercontinental Regency Bahrain. This is the uh, one bedroom high floor suite 10, 1020.